Uncle Tim's. It's all good. <laughs> Hey, welcome to Uncle Tim's Farm. I'm Uncle Tim. Thanks for joining me today as I continue this build on my mobile hydraulic boom crane that's going to be used for on-farm processing of livestock. Here I'm using my chop saw to cut some small pieces of this thin metal that I'm going to use for caps on the ends of one inch square tubing. And you'll see that here in a little bit. Basically, I need it to fall in between all these, all those holes to fall in between there. And then all there be, yeah. So this plate is going to sit on top of these two that will be welded to the bottom of the boom. And then I can run the bolts up through this plate and mount the winch bracket here using that so this plate here needs to be this long so that it can weld the these two pieces of tubing so I'm gonna have to re-mark all that no And now I can go get my mag drill, drill all these holes out, and then cut it off. So to drill these holes, I'm going to need to change out this chuck for a regular drill bit chuck. Then grab my drill bit. I've been pretty pleased with this mag drill. It's sure made life a lot easier drilling these holes. I can be much more accurate, and not have to try to use a hand drill and keep vertical and all that. This just locks onto the plate and drills right down through. Man, it is really handy.
So right here I'm going to make sure all the holes line up for this mounting bracket for the winch before I go ahead and get it all welded together. This saw has three different locations for the clamps and you can move it based on the type of material, size of material. And I had moved this to the wrong location and so now I'm putting it back where it should have been to begin with. Which is all the way up or away from me so that as the saw blade makes contact with the flat bar, this is a four inch piece of flat bar, it'll start on one side and then work its way across instead of hitting right in the center and trying to cut the whole thing all at once. Works good when you do it right. Anyhow, perfectly straight line. Look at that. That is dead straight. So, that's my mounting bracket. Right here I'm cutting out the two pieces that are going to be used to mount the pulley on the end of the boom. And this is just my old circular saw and I have a Diablo steel cutting blade that I bought 10 years ago and just remembered that I had. And man this thing works slick for this type of a cut. This is too much of an angle to use on my chop saw but this is perfect for this saw here. and it. It does a fantastic job. You can see it just zips right through this steel. And this is 3 eighths of an inch thick. Alright, now it's time to prep this boom for the winch mounting bracket. So I'm just laying out where it's going to go and then I go ahead and grind off the paint and get it ready. Now I'm going to go ahead and get this mounting bracket wall welded together and get the ends of those tubes sealed up.
here you might notice I'm wearing some welding sleeves and what I discovered was it was just too hot to put on a long sleeve shirt over the top of my other shirt when I went to weld and so having these welding sleeves on helps me to stay a lot cooler while I'm working. All right, I'm going to get this thing lined up and square and then get it welded on. These are the two pieces I cut out earlier they are going to be used for mounting the pulley and I'm going to go ahead and tack them together so that I can drill a hole down through both of them at once. So I'm kind of jumping around today in the things that I was working on and right here I'm prepping this tail of the boom to be able to put a weld the plate on it that's going to close it in so this boom will be fully enclosed on both ends and you'll see me weld that big 3 8 inch thick plate on here in just a minute. Once again you can see I'm using these electromagnets to help hold that plate up which is pretty handy because that plate is heavy and these magnets do a great job of holding it up. Okay, now back to drilling this hole where the pulley is going to mount to these two brackets. I guess I got a little overzealous with my tack welds here. As you can see here, it's now time to get these brackets welded on the end of the boom.
All right, one more important little detail. I need to add a grease zerk to this. So I'm gonna go ahead and punch it right here with the spring-loaded punch and then hand drill this hole and then use a high-speed tap to thread the hole. All right, that's going to wrap up this episode. Thanks for watching, and if you haven't already, hit that like button, and if you want to, subscribe. But thanks for watching, and I will see you next time. Bye.